Alrighty, everyone. I am supposedly, as I believe, I'm actually back. Which, first and foremost, I have to say sorry to everyone here, which I bet you all don't really believe anymore because I said that last time, and I also said that I would start posting daily again, which, um, maybe you've noticed, but I told a lie, apparently. Yeah, uh, that happened, which, uh, you know, I, I can say sorry for, but I doubt any of you will believe it at that rate. And I don't blame you for that. But let me kind of explain my side as to what has all happened. I've been... I'm, I'm gonna be completely honest. Markiplier and Jacksepticeye make posting two videos seem so easy. Now granted, that's because... That's because I was just watching the content. But holy cow, making two... Making... I thought making Reddit stories at first would have been, like, so easy. You know, you just read stories and just post it and all that, but holy, I, there's actually a lot of work that goes into me doing that. The whole entire editing, voice, voice you, you guys don't care to learn what goes into it, but I have thrown myself 110% into doing that and then kind of left this channel in the dust. Now, there was also a reason for that, and the reason for why I kind of left this channel in the dust is because it isn't really a proper YouTube channel. And what do I mean by that? Well, the channel is called Toasted Ideas, which is about me just talking about things on my mind, which is good and all, but it's not good for a YouTube channel. Because, you know, it's not like I, I talk about this, I talk about that, I talk about things in the pantry, I talk about things that are outside, I just talk about things that I'm thinking about. They may or may not correlate and that isn't really, that's not really a good, that's not, a, that's not a good strategy to grow on YouTube. Period. End of statement. And I don't want to talk about red pill content for my entire life. And I also don't want to talk about racial issues for my entire content life on YouTube. But I have came up with a niche that I want to talk about right here, right now, because the next video is going to be in correlation with what I'm talking about here. Something I have realized about the world as of right now is that it is a little bit insane. You've got this going on in this country, you've got another thing going on in a different country, you've got things going on in homeland, you've got things going on everywhere else, and then on top of that, you quite possibly have aliens up above you. Like, the whole entire year... It, as life has progressed from 2020 up until now, it has done nothing become, but become even more and more and more and more insane than the last year. And something that we as a people need to do is not try and reverse things, but we need to try and find common ground. Something that everyone can firmly put their foot on and say that we are all together on this. Because everything about the world is we're all divided. You got red pill. You got you got feminists. You got white people. You got black people. You got Asian people. Black and white. You got... you. Everyone's divided. We need something to bring us together. Because if we don't bring us to ourselves together, all is going to happen is we're going to completely wedge ourselves to the point of where we are no longer connected to each other. Period. End of statement. We need a foundation uh, of a community to where people can come to and believe that they are touching firm ground. If you believed everything you saw on TikTok, everything you, everything you saw on the internet, you would believe that you will die a, a, a homeless hermit with no one to love because you've got economy prices going up, fuel prices going up, women don't want to date you because you're not, you're not hot, you're not six foot tall, and you don't have a six inch, six pack, six, 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 you don't have the devil's triangle on your stomach and all that. You would believe that you're going to just die alone and have nothing to yourself. And... For women, you'd also probably believe that you're gonna die single alone because you're like you're so close to hitting the wall and all that whole entire shenanigans and fiasco stuff. So 
we need, and clearly nobody's going to go outside and actually touch grass because that message has been here. It's been here for a whole minute and a half, and yet people are still terminally online. So we need to p- create a place of touching grass that is on the internet world, something that you can look to and feel like you're at you're out you're actually touching something that is firm if that makes sense but even more than that something that is in my opinion of greater problem is every single generation in my opinion has gotten worse and worse and worse and worse as the generations continue on you had Gen, you had boomers who were very much more abusive in their teaching. And then you have Gen X, where they created millennials who are now doing this whole entire soft parent thing, which is not working whatsoever. And now you have a bunch of Gen Z people who are growing up with TikTok, having short attention spans, what like no attention spans, they're unable to trust the ground they walk on because every 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 news platform is telling them to do this and then every other content creator is telling you to no do this like there is nothing there is very little for people who are growing up nowadays to actually grow and thrive from because everyone is seeing gen z and the generation to come from them as just pawns and then you also have places like Reddit, which if you go back, if you, if you go on Twitter, you might have seen my post. Or if you go to Toasted Reddit, then you, will, you might have seen that video. But it was of a dude who was in his 30s calling our generation, or Gen Z, my generation, as nothing good but for hookup culture. That is a spit in my face. That is so deplorable. That is deplorable. Period. End of statement. And the fact that people even look at us as being nothing but good for hookup culture. What does that mean for the future generation that is to come? What, what, is, what is that to mean from the future generation? Does that mean that we have a bunch of hookup culture kids? Or does that mean we have a bunch of hookup culture adults that are going to have children? What is going to be created from two hookup culture people? What, what are they going to create? Something worse? I would hope not, but if if people in the millennial age are calling us nothing but nothing good but for hookup culture, then what is to come after us? No. What we need to start doing is create a place where where the main goal is to just be better. And now let me say this, that doesn't mean that our generation or the generation before our generation after us are better than the other generations that is not what i'm saying what i'm saying is we will just be better every day take a strive to be better be something more than you were yesterday and if you don't then you made a mistake and you should be better than next that way, one day, when we grow up, we can take our kids and lift them up to our level so that they can be better than us. Because look at the world we are living in. We have war on the brink here, there, everywhere. Everyone can catch a hand of war. It is going on. And then we have every single culture in a, a, in a divide. We need to be better than this we need to create a culture that will do better than us or we will do nothing but continue to collapse as a society and now while i don't exactly have resources to my name i don't have i don't have oodles of money i can't go out and start walking around doing like roadside interviews and all that stuff i don't have money to throw around and do all that so all i have to do is stuff behind the behind my desk at this rate but that is what i have landed this channel's niche as being a place where we call out stupidity and lift up betterment we lift up people who are doing better living better trying to be better you know you don't you don't have to go from being a prawn addicted person to all of a sudden just 
not doing what not watching prawn anymore but at least if you take the time after having the mental thought of ooh my pinor down downstairs hasn't had a lot of action you should have the mental thought of hmm maybe i shouldn't do this today that is betterment even if you don't stop it that day that is being better because you're at least taking the steps to to at least mentally recognize wow i did it yesterday and the day before that maybe i should consider not doing it today that is better in my opinion you're at least having a mental leniency going on here that hmm maybe not a great idea you don't have to be perfect that is not what i'm calling for i actually my opinion is you shouldn't want to be perfect because if you are perfect that means you can't do better and if you're perfect that means your child is forever going to be in your shadow why would you want that you should want your child to become better than you be something greater than what you are you should always want to be better always want to be able to do better and you should always want your child to be able to not only reach you but also continue to strive on forward ahead of you now i ask of you if you listener viewer whoever is listening to this if you agree with this message i incur or i am en- not incur i encourage you hit the subscribe button join the bandwagon become a fellow bread bag but more than that i ask that you go down below and look at that hashtag and share it across the board along with the little uh, link or maybe hit the share button on this video that way more and more people see this message we have to be better we have to continue to be better or else nothing in this world is going to get better except it is only to going to get worse is that a world you want to live in i am i am 18 and the world is kind of garbage in my opinion i've got so many things across the board to worry about am i ever going to own a house am i going to be able to feed myself next month well probably but you know they're like i i'm 18 Is this a world that I want to grow up in? Is this the world where I want to have children in? The answer is kind of a whole bunch of no. I want my children to be able to look at their life and be like, "Yes, this is the life that I'm happy in." But right now, that is not it. We need to be better as a generation. We need to be better parents. We need to be better uh people just in general we need to be able to teach our youth to be better than us hold your own uh ego aside from it like people who have ego you need to go off i'm sorry you need to take that ego and put it away you need to be humble because if you just continue to have that ego your child will never be better than you and at that rate i think you're a failure because you should always want your child to be better than you be something greater than you cuz if you don't then you're just holding them back for no reason than your own gratitude you're going to die anywho one day why not at least hope for your child to be better than you that way that your legacy can t- can continue on so once again this is the ending message i i encourage you i ask of you share this video share this message share that hashtag down below so that everyone at some point can see this message it needs to get out we need to be a better society so that the people who come after us can do the same thing for the people after them but if it doesn't start then it will never happen so it has to start now